At Swift Business Solutions, we have the unique opportunity to do business with all kinds of businesses, small, medium, and large. Most of those businesses should be concerned about IT and internet security. One of our clients is Available Technologies. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce you and do a client spotlight on Mike Lane with Available Technologies. Mike, we've had the opportunity to do business with each other for a couple of years now, and I want to start by thanking you for sharing your knowledge. Our clients and, and those beyond uh, stand to gain a great deal of information by listening to you today and hopefully coming to work with you in the near future. So uh, I want to jump right in. When it comes to computers and information, what should we as business owners be concerned about? In 2017, the biggest concern for small businesses needs to be the protection and the security of their critical business data. Uh, computers haven't changed that much in the last few years. The cloud is everywhere. You can access your data with no problem. But what's more important than ever is securing that data because it, it is under attack like it's never been before. That sounds kind of expensive. My experience is that most businesses do not allocate funds for an IT budget. How can they secure themselves, their business, and their data without a ton of money? Well, most of the time when you hear uh, uh, network security, you think of giant enterprises and racks of servers and switches. The good thing about technology is that as it progresses, it becomes less expensive. So because smaller businesses need the protection that those larger companies have, now there are products that you can get that will give you the same level of protection at a fraction of the cost. And it's very affordable for most small businesses. And it is a big concern that everyone should be working toward um, making sure they're protected in that area. What is the single most important step a business can take to make themselves secure? That's a great question. There are two answers to that question. One, if you have a budget, and another, if you don't have a budget. So the first one is if you don't have any money to spend and you want to feel more secure and take a giant step, the first thing you can do is secure your passwords. Create a password policy that makes everyone in your business have a secure password because the password is always the weakest link in the chain. It doesn't matter how big or strong your door is, if you don't lock it or if you just leave it open, someone's going to get in. So the password is something you can do at no cost that will, uh, that will protect you. So what I hear you saying is don't use my daughter's name and her birthday in my password. So what would be a good rule? Exactly. The, there are lots of standards for that. The one that we go by is the PCI compliance standard, which is anybody that takes credit cards or goes through a bank has to, to look toward this um, certification and this um, compliance rule. The rule is at least seven characters long. It has to have uh, four types of characters in it, uppercase, lowercase, punctuation, and numbers. Uh, it cannot contain a dictionary word. Uh, and most people use passwords that are a name plus some numbers and in our testing we can crack those passwords ourselves in usually under 30 seconds. Uh, another thing to remember is that passwords should be changed regularly. Most compliance rules say every 30 days, but in the real world, 90 days is what people do. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let's say I do not want to rely on myself. You mentioned that there were two options. Right, right. If you do have a budget, there is a hardware device that everyone should have. And we try to push this to our customers because it's in our best interest to make sure that they're secure. If you do have a budget and some money you can spend, the one thing that you can do is to replace your existing router with a real firewall. One that's made for small businesses and one that provides active intrusion detection and prevention. Uh, that's the same kind of uh, prevention that you'll find in hospitals for HIPAA compliance and, and medical information. But it's a small box that's very affordable that you can put in any business that will secure you at their level. So what I hear you saying without saying is hacking is a real big deal for small business, for any business. It's not a matter of if, but more of when. Exactly. You used to be able to be secure because you were obscure. If you were a small business, nobody would even know about you. You wouldn't think you'd be a target. But now it's all automated and it's essentially like computers dialing phone numbers. As soon as they hit your IP, find out your vulnerability, they'll get in if you have vulnerabilities and holes that are left open. So it is exactly a matter of when and not if. Mike, I really appreciate the time that you've afforded us today. But before I let you go, 
I have one last question. Is there anything that you can give us as a takeaway? Are there some guidelines or general security plan that we should integrate into our business? Absolutely. Every business uh, security plan should have a th kind of a three-pronged attack. The first step is to investigate your business. You need to find out what equipment you have on your network. Find out how old your access points are. Do your wireless networks even have passwords on them? Uh, do you have computers that are running ancient software that no one's done any updates on? What kind of passwords do your employees uh, have in place? You need to investigate that so you can find out where your vulnerabilities are. So the first step is investigate. The second step is to mitigate. Once you've found those holes, consult with a, a certified technician that can help you fill those holes, get the hardware and software you need so you can feel uh, secure and safe and sleep better at night knowing that you've got those holes plugged. So first you investigate, then you mitigate, and the last thing you do is to educate. Educating employees is critical because they're the ones where attacks sometimes will originate. Employees need to know what you can and cannot do on the internet. What's safe to click on? What are the rules? Do we allow downloading free software? Do we not allow that? They need to know that so you can secure your business. Those are amazing tips. Thank you very much. I know we could spend another 30 or 40 minutes with you. But it's my hope that people will reach out to you and learn, understand, and enjoy a conversation on how they can secure their businesses. Thanks so much. Thank you.